Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. General Science 1 is a middle school science course that is typically included in a 7th grade course of study and includes units on what is science, Earth in space, the atmosphere, climate, human anatomy, and much more. Now let's take a look at a General Science 1 lesson to see how concepts like these are covered. In a unit entitled The Human Anatomy Part 2, let's take a look at a lesson called The Circulatory System. Most Switched on Schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. At the beginning of most lessons, your students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included several activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Stimuli. Contract. In addition, the vocabulary arcade games encourage mastery of the vocabulary words by providing practice in the correct spelling of each word and in matching each word with its definition. Let's look at a sample. Flashcards allow students to easily review the words and their definitions. After this introductory material, your students then move independently through the lesson, reading the text-based instruction and utilizing the multimedia features that have been provided. Many lessons include small instructional videos, sometimes called Tiny Tutors. The teachers featured in these small video clips provide special instructions, additional information, and important tips for students. Our heart is one muscle that never takes a break. Sure, it might slow down when we sleep or relax, but be glad it keeps on pumping blood around the clock even when many of our other muscles are taking long periods of rest. The heart has a network that allows every cell in the heart muscle to communicate freely with all the other cells. This is regulated by the two nodes discussed in the text. They are the sinoatrial node and the atrial ventricular node, commonly referred to as the pacemaker of the heart. This structure allows the heart to beat regularly and rhythmically. Sometimes the heart gets out of sync. This is called ventricular fibrillation. When the heart is in this condition, it resembles a bag of worms squirming around. It's contracting irregularly and no blood is moving at all. To correct this, a physical stimulus or even an electrical shock can cause the pacemaker of the heart to start regulating the heartbeat again. This procedure is called, oddly enough, defibrillation. Switched on schoolhouse lessons are often filled with colorful photographs, maps, illustrations, and diagrams that are designed to enhance the learning environment and assist students in mastering lesson content. As students study, it's important that they understand that what they're learning fits into a timeline of history. Any linked date or major event within the text of the lesson provides access to an interactive timeline. The timeline provides information about great civilizations, historical eras, significant events, and persons from history. In some lessons, students are given the opportunity to review and reinforce what they've learned with fun games like Farmer Frank and All Right. Let's take a look at an example.
At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, fill in the blank, true and false, multiple select, click and place, essay questions, and many more. 85 to 90 percent of student work is graded instantly by the program. Answers are automatically saved as the student works through the questions and immediate feedback is given after each question has been answered. If a parent has set the program to allow for multiple attempts, students will be looped back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. Try again. The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or when the student has exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page to continue through the rest of his daily assignments.